hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we will see how we can download and install mingw in windows 10 operating system so first we need to open up any browser that we have installed i have chrome so i'm gonna open it up and here we will open up google and here we will search for mingw and the first link here is from mingw.org it is the official website mingw stands for minimalist gnu for windows i'm gonna open up this website and here you guys can see it is a minimalist development environment for native microsoft windows applications and with this you know you can get the tool sets for the languages like c c plus plus ada fortran etc so what we do here is we will download and install it so we will go to this download option we will click on this it will open up this page and if we scroll down here then you guys can see we have the mingw get setup.exe it is the setup file which we have to download and run and then it will download the packages required and it will install it in our computer so i'm going to click on this button here and the download will start automatically so it has started and uh, the download is finished now so we will click on this show in folder button it will open up the folder where we have saved our download in my case it is the downloads folder and here you guys can see the application file we will double click on this to run and i'm going to close this folder now and close this browser also okay now here you guys can see mingw installation manager setup tool so we will click on this install and first we need to select the path where we want to install it by default it will be c mingw i'm not going to change that and here i'm not going to change anything i'm going to click on this continue it will download the files now some download has been done the continue button has been enabled so we will click on this and now it will open up this installation manager where we can select the things that we want to install here i'm gonna check the mingw32 base bin which is the basic mingw installation i'm gonna check this now once i click on this it will open up this small menu and i'm gonna select mark for installation and in my case i don't want the ada compiler i don't want the fortran compiler I want the GNU C++ compiler and I want the GNU Objective-C compiler. So I'm going to mark these two for installation. So I'm going to click on here, select mark for installation. And for this also, I'm going to perform mark for installation. With each installation, you guys can see what are the things it will install. For example, if I select the mingw32 base bin, then here in the description, you guys can see this package provides the basic GCC installation. Uh, you know, it includes a C compiler, linker and other binary tools. So you guys can see what are the things you need. And depending on that, you can select the packages to install. Now, after selecting the packages that you want to install, we need to click on this installation menu and here we need to click on apply changes now it will open up this window and it will say okay to proceed we will say apply it will now download and install the packages that we have selected so we will wait for it to finish it will take some time so patiently wait okay now the installation is done we will close this dialog and we will close this and now we have downloaded and installed mingw with whatever the packages that we have selected okay now the installation of this mingw is done the next thing that we do is we will set the path environment variable so that we can access the programs like gcc and all these things from any folder so to do that first we open up the folder where we have installed uh, mingw which is in my C drive. And here you guys can see a folder called as mingw. Open it up and open up the bin folder. And here just copy this path, C mingw bin. I'm gonna copy this path and we will close this now. Again, open up the my computer. And here 
right click on this empty space and click on the properties here you guys can see advanced system settings click on that here you will see environment variables click on that and here you guys can see user variables and system variables in this system variables we will search for path as you guys can see here variable name is path we will click on this edit and here in this menu we will click on new and here we will paste the path that we have copied and after that we will click on ok and ok and ok and we will close this now what we have done here is we have uh, added the path of the installation of the MinGW and advantage of adding this path environment variable with the folder of MinGW is that we can run a C or C++ program from any folder so just to check that we have done everything properly I'm gonna open up the command prompt and here I'm gonna type in gcc minus version I think it's minus minus version I guess yes so here you know if I type in that you guys can see we get the version of gcc it means we have downloaded the uh, mingw and whatever the packages that we wanted to install properly and we have set the path environment variable properly so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel if you want to say something then write that in the comment box thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video